He is more than you could ever need. He's more than the eye could see. I don't deserve his love, but he's always been there for me. You see, Jesus met me when I was at my lowest. And if you don't know Jesus, know this. He is the greatest example of generosity this world of greed has ever seen. And when Jesus hit the scene, he changed the scenery and met diversity with serenity. If you're looking for peace, he offers plenty. Jesus was and Jesus will forever be king. And when the angels sing, they sing of the grace that was displayed for sinners like me. I can't explain him and I can't describe him. And if I could, he wouldn't be Jesus because you can't explain eternity and you can't comprehend the galaxies. But it was the loving hands of Jesus who spun them into existence and created man knowing he would go to the cross to pay our sentence. There was a certificate of judgment with a period after the sentence and we were sentenced to death long before he said it is finished. He is a father to the orphan, a shelter for the homeless, a hiding place for the abused and an anchor for our storms. He stormed the gates of hell and came out on top and the power of his gospel cannot be stopped. Even when the world tries, and they try a lot. He traded places with Barabbas and became the catalyst of missions across the world covering every portion of the atlas. If you're in need of rest, I know of a mattress. If you don't know Jesus, your future is tragic, but he gladly embraced tragedy so we could live in his presence of majesty. His presence is presence, and it's his presence that presents preciousness to a world of peasants. He is far from pretentious, but still loves those who are. He is the light of the world and hung the stars. He brings the dead to life and delivers life to the dead. He took a crown of thorns on his head so we could put crowns at his feet, and I can't wait until I get to kiss his feet that were nailed to a cross for me and for you and for every person around the world. He loves the world and I love his word because the word became flesh and in his flesh he demonstrated the word to the world. He is an example to every boy and every girl. He is a lover of black people. He is a lover of white people. He is a lover of the unchurched and the assembly under the steeple. He doesn't see the believers failures but still takes time to celebrate their faithfulness. It's the power of the spirit that enables us and gives us boldness when the world labels us and if you want to label me please call me a Jesus freak and if that freaks you out good because it's better to be good with God than to fight being misunderstood by a world that could never understand so let it be understood that I don't worship man we worship Jesus and although he doesn't need us he still sees us and pleads with us to run to the cross where he bled for us his heart bleeds for us his heart grieves for us but still graciously grants us a pardon for our treason in a season where the world tries to explain away the work of the spirit with human reasoning there is a reason they can't because the spirit is like the wind and the wind cannot be seen but loved is the one who believes without seeing the unseen I'm telling you today that Jesus is something he's something more He's something great, and if you want to know him, you don't have to wait. He stands at the narrow path with a key to the gate, and you only have to reach out and embrace his grace. I don't care who's president. I have a king who is always present. I don't care who holds musical celebrity. The voice of the Lord will always be the sweetest melody. I don't care who owns the riches of the globe. My Jesus holds more wealth than one ruby on his robe. I don't care who is the strongest or the fastest. Nothing matches the creator of the universe and his immortal, infinite status. I don't care about religious leaders who died and stayed dead. I'll only worship the one who conquered death and wears a crown on his head. His name is Jesus, and I'm telling you, he's something. He was faithful yesterday, and he is faithful today. I can feel his presence whenever I pray. And when the time comes for me to fade away, I'll remember the day I heard him say, My name is Jesus.